Well guys, it's raining. Um, about to head out here, it's a little dark. But uh, oh man, this is gonna suck today. But I'm gonna um, be heading to uh, Tennessee. So I got the little, that little enclosed trailer with all my clothes and stuff in there. And I got stuff that I don't mind getting wet. I still gotta pack some food real quick. Got my uh, here's my truck if you haven't saw it yet. I got two halves on here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out the rain here, guys, and I will talk to you when I get back in here. Um, I got I got to get this uh, this packed, so I will see you guys in a little bit, okay? Because this is too difficult to do right now. Gotta go. Be back in a minute. Maybe on the highway, guy. Okay, I'm on my way, the opposite way, um, to actually go to Memphis because I'm going to um, get my emissions in the truck done um, because in the state of Illinois, you can't get your sticker for your vehicle if you don't um, get your emissions done. And my light's not on, it ain't been on in a while, let's not go on plastic. Um, I am going to... Uh, I know it's probably loud here because of the um, air noise. I'm trying to talk even louder than usual. So, I don't know if I'm screaming right now for you. But, I, uh, I want to get a sticker for this car one more year until, uh, so I can get a, a place of residency when I, when I buy a house finally. Then I can change everything over at one time instead of doing it at her house and then doing it again. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, and, this, and uh, Memphis in Tennessee you don't have to do emissions uh, so that'll be a good thing for this truck since it's pretty much maybe the last year it might pass uh, funny story not really funny but uh, I needed a catalytic converter or something else I believe but last time but, but I was having a heck of a time trying to get my light off and your, your, your car goes through different cycles pass an emissions test they don't just the lights not on and it's okay it has to go through a series of uh, operations like 10 different like stop and go traffic uh, about 100 miles so there's different sensors that don't really kick on, kick on if you take the battery post off or reset the light it has to go through a series of processes first for the for the ob2 obgd2 345 connector whatever deal of bob uh, for your sensors in your car uh, when they test it out. So, last time I went, the light was off. I, I, I got the emissions done. As soon as I pulled off the emissions at that little area before I even got to the, the street, when I got out of the emissions, the light cut on. I said, well, at least it cut on right afterwards. So, right now it's good. Uh, I got the trailer in the back. I'm gonna have to unhook the trailer, I believe. Uh, before I go in, I might might go ask them. I'll call them first. I don't want to unhook the trailer if I don't have to, but I think I do have to unhook this trailer. Uh, it's a little bit, little um, enclosed trailer, but still, I don't, I don't think they like you to have anything excess on your truck. So I'm gonna um, call them now. So I'll update you um, when I get there. As you see, it is raining. Let me cut this uh, light off here for you. You can see it is it's raining here and it's dark. So dark and wet. That's what I said. Good news, I just called them. They said I could keep the trailer on there so I don't have to detach it. That is really good news. That'll give me like 30 minutes um, better on my time since I'm going the opposite direction. So I should be in Memphis around, I'm gonna say 2.30. I'm gonna have to stop and get about another 30 gallons of gas. This truck gets uh, 11 to 13 miles of, to the gallon. Um, and the car gets like 35 to 42. So uh, big difference there. Uh, the same amount of, of gas in, I can go the same amount of miles in this truck as I can in my car. But my car takes 12 gallons, this takes 30. So yeah, that sucks. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but this truck will work if we could need to go fishing and haul a boat around, the boat can fit in the back of this truck. I can put some extensions on the back, like some uh, two by eights or two by twelves, 
have the boat resting on the rest of that if it, if it does stick out too much. Uh, but other than that, this uh, this used to be my grandfather's truck, Papa. Um, he had died like eight or nine years ago. Uh, but this truck uh, still kicking. This uh, this was, was a fishing truck. Um, so I, uh, I don't know what to say, but just hopefully I make it in one piece. If I don't, you would definitely see footage of it. So uh, until the next uh, entry. That's what I said. That's, I don't know. I don't know how. To cut! 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 Gotta go. No plus. Stop recording. Well, guys, I passed. All right. Like I'm in school again. So I got uh, two years. So I don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna get my sticker now. So I'm gonna be good to go. We get off the rain, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Nice slices. I was on the pizza. Nine nice slices of olives. Nine nice slices. Oh, take one off. Pass it around. Eat it up. Oh, tap, tap, tap. Nine nice slices of olives on the pizza. Nine nice slices of olives. Take one off. Put it in your mouth. Ninety-eight slices of olives on the pizza. Ninety-eight slices of olives on the pizza. Ah! Ah! Mm. Nine nice slices of olives on pizza. Nine nice slices of olives. Take one off, eat it, swallow it down. Well, yeah, swallow down. 98 slices of olives on the pizza. 98 slices of olives on the pizza. 98 slices of olives. Take one down. Oh, shit, shit. Swallow it, then swallow it down. 97 olives on the freaking pizza. Hey. I got four and a half hours to do this, okay? I gotta do something. So, mind your business. Find some business. Find some business. Okay, guys, I know I always say about winning is half, not winning is half the battle. Whatever G.I. Joe says, okay? I think people say knowing. Now, it's like, I always say fighting or something's half the battle. I think it's knowing is half the battle. And I would say, what's the other half? You know, I got screwed up as a kid. So that's what I blame stuff on now, is G.I. Joe. But I'm sitting here thinking, and I do that a lot. Um, yeah, I do. Especially while I'm driving. I ain't by myself. So I'm like, knowing is half the battle. So why do people get mad when I ask a lot of questions? I need to know. I'm trying to win half the freaking battle. So if you don't want me to freaking win half of it, Something's wrong with you. So that's what I'm thinking about. So I had to let you guys know what I'm thinking about. So when I ask you questions, don't get mad. I just need to know. I want to win half the battle and get it over with. So I can figure out the other freaking half. And I need to know the other half. I need to know the other half. I'll get back to you. I saw you and him walking in the rain. Y'all was holding hands. I ain't never gonna be the same. Since it's raining, yep, that's what my brain's thinking about, okay? Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's Orange Juice Jones. That's one of the songs I can sing really good because he sings it pretty bad. So. I saw you and him. Walking in the rain, y'all was holding hands. I ain't never gonna be the same. It's kinda like that, okay? It sounds kinda like that. I'll put a clip in now. Okay, there you go. Okay, about 25% through this trip. I'm going to stop off at Walmart and get my grandmother a gift card since I was going to get it before, but the lines are way long in the Walmarts. So I'm going to get one and go see her today. Her birthday is tomorrow, March the 15th. You're probably going to see this a week later. Um, but I did put out the one video, One in a Million. Instead of One in a Million, I put that out on the 15th. Uh, a little out of order from the other uh, videos because my grandmother is way more than one in a million, or way less. If you want to, one in a gazillion, 
know. Um, she turned 96 or 97. I will let you guys know after I, I see her. I might do uh, um, story time with Grand today. I think I will. She was on uh, another vlog of mine of story time with Grand. So I'm going to do uh, story time with Grand every time I pass by and see her. If she don't mind, I don't mind. Hopefully uh, she's up to it and um, you get to hear some stories from her. I'll always sit there and I, I enjoy all of her stories. Uh, she's a good storyteller. Well, not like that. Tasha said I'm a good storyteller, but I don't think she's talking about stories. I think she's talking about stories. Like a lion. Well, I'm not at my grandmother's or I am not at uh, the gas station, but I just got off the phone with the Bass Pro Car that I had a problem with on the vlog from yesterday. Oh, I was really hot. I was hot when I called uh, David. I spoke with him um, just now for like 15 minutes. He really turned the conversation around and uh, I gave him my YouTube uh, uh, information so hopefully he checks it out and hopefully you're watching this David uh, so I want to thank you very much very I was very distraught very very upset um, because it should be declined like this I know they're trying to help me out about fraudulent charges so now there's something on my phone that uh, that t asked me if that's me at a place or something like that so I um, I can hit yes and then it'll go through instead of me having to call for you know 30 minutes. So he actually gave me his employee ID number so I can talk to him all the time. He's in Lincoln, Nebraska, and most of them are in Lincoln, Nebraska that that uh, you talk to uh, when you call Bass Pro. And I was talking to him about the Omaha. I was supposed to do the Cappies and uh, challenge in and um, Lincoln, Nebraska, but they stopped doing the, the $200 challenge. Uh, so I did the Omaha with Lee, a subscriber Lee, a member of the disposal team. Uh, he came to Stella's. I was in Omaha, and I, I told this gentleman about it because he's going to Omaha to eat tonight. I had to check out Stella's. Uh, so again, I want to I want to thank you, David, if you're watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, talking about the coronavirus, they say if you get high blood pressure, you're more prone for the coronavirus. So definitely helped me out there so I'm in a lower tier for that thank goodness all right the rain's stopping day's looking brighter even though it's cloudy I'm uh I'll be it's 54 54 miles to Cape Girardeau um she's 20 30 40 about 40 miles past that so I got 94 miles to go to see Grand and I have enough gas so Hopefully, store time for Grand in a little bit. Hey, I made a pit stop. Um, I called my mom to see if my grandmother was going to be home today, and I'm passing right through Sykeston, and that's where I'm at now. Um, my grandmother lives in New Madrid. That's like 20 miles south from Sykeston, and that's where I was born. Well, I was born in Sykeston, but I, I lived in New Madrid. Uh, but my family's in Sykeston and New Madrid, a lot of them. Uh, but if you know about Sykes and everybody always says, hey, you should go to the Lambert's place. All right, I'm here. Yell, roll, like, rolls, rolls. And they throw them across the whole um, restaurant and you catch them. So, uh, and there's a lot of stuff that they do over here that uh, I guess it's a, it's a norm now. And I guess when a few people do it, then they just let everybody do it is uh, they, they, they got these little cabooses, uh, wooden cabooses out here that everybody rode on. So I guess it's okay to do now. So, uh, yeah, see all that? Well, I'm gonna show you something I did a little while ago when Tasha and I was here. Look at that. I'm gonna cover her last name up, but there you go. But I put, uh, I put that on there about a year ago. Uh, I'm gonna go use the restroom in here and I'll show you the inside. But if you come here, please carry cash because the credit cards and debit cards, uh, you have to use the ATM in there and they charge a high rate, but they, they accept cash. So. So. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. 
All right. Well, thank you very much, man. I'm not getting it out. I'm just shooting the video real quick. You got a YouTube? Oh, yes, sir. I can get the phone there. I'm a, a professional eater, but I, uh, I'm doing cool vlogs and stuff now, right now. There you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna get you throwing rolls if you don't mind. And I think I'm gonna put my hand up and get a free roll. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit down at the table. Watch this. Sorry. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh! Got a free roll. Got a free roll. Guys, guys. Um, I gotta tell them on camera right now. I'm talking to B dot or B dot, but I just, I just. Uh, came here to, to get footage and I got a free roll. This is home to throw rolls. I'm gonna go to the other side and put it in my pocket so I can leave. Wow, I think I just uh, might uh, go to jail. Okay, well let me cut this camera off before I incriminate myself anymore. Okay, I just put two uh smoke detectors up from my mom took like 15 minutes um, I'm really proficient efficient eh, eh. yeah I'm a robot so I um I stopped by I wanted to see her give her a hug and uh, did the two um, smoke detectors while I talked to her um, and off to see my grandmother I think I'm gonna get her $50 instead of a gift card then she use it $50 anywhere uh, I know she gets her hair done once uh, once a week on Tuesdays or Thursdays, um, but I know it's a little more impersonal or something, just giving cash, but uh, hell, you can use that more places than just Walmart, so I'm going to do that and um, just spend some time with her and maybe get a video. So. Okay, I promise, I promise I'm almost at my grandmother's. But these keep staring at me, folks. I'm gonna wait to get gas in uh, Blyville, um, and they have more of these. I know they have them at that loves, so I am gonna wait till I get there to, to get me a pack. Because if they don't have them and they're out, I'm gonna be SOL. So, oh, this is rough. This is rough. That's what she said. Cool. As Brian David told me, oh, uh, well, we had a, okay, I'd fell on Monday. This was President's Day. We were out of, we were at the uh, center that day. They turned it out. And then that uh, that Saturday was uh, Avery's 16th birthday party at uh, the Country Club. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew I'd been to Riley's party and I had to go to Avery's because that she would have been left out, felt left out if I didn't. The sharp still on that or like is the country club across the always across the street? The country clubs I don't know who owns the country oh, okay. club. Just the town, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. 
but that's where you know we used to eat there every Sunday after church, and Sue and Brad still do, and most of the time they eat there. And but Sharon comes on Sunday afternoon, so she brings food, and we ate here. We eat here at the house, Sharon and I. But anyway, I knew I had to get to that party, but my hair was a total wreck. Well, my op beauty operator. Uh, does not work on Saturday or she does not work on Monday. So I called her anyway and I said, Amber, I'm a, my hair's a total wreck and I've got to go to that party. Sue's going to take me. She might have to carry me, but, uh, but I've got to go. So she said, Miss Dorothy, you know I don't work on Saturday. And I said, I know it. I just was calling to see what you'd say. She said, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I said, if I can get there, she said, if you will, uh, if you will let me come home at 11 o'clock on Saturday, I will come to your house. You're not coming to the beauty shop. I'll come to your house and comb, recomb your hair, not shampoo it, but comb it. I knew I couldn't get a shampoo instead because I was, wasn't able to do all that bending. But she came and did my hair. <laughs> so I got to the party and Brian David was there. He was disappointed because Andrew didn't come and Rodney didn't come. But we had a we had a good time and Sue did Sue and Brian did get me in and out and got me home. So but I've been I've been uh, I didn't drive for three weeks. Oh yeah. I couldn't even get in a car to drive and uh, didn't Riley just had a birthday? Did he? Huh? Did he just have a birthday? So I just had a birthday. I thought I saw on Facebook. Who had a birthday? Like Rodney or somebody. Rodney and Brian have a birthday the 10th before yeah. mine on the 15th. I, I, yeah, I just, uh, that's what I thought. Well, you knew. Oh, well, Michelle has hers. Right, man. You and Brian, you and Michelle have yours the 30th. Same, same day. Yeah. You see, uh, Sue. Michelle was born naturally on it. And, and Sharon was gonna have to have a C-section like she had with Christopher. And she wanted to wait till Christopher's birthday, which was the 3rd of April. Mm -hmm. And the doctor told her that he, she couldn't wait that long. It couldn't be done. So she planned it to have it on Mama's birthday. It was at, the, at your great grandma's birthday too. Mm -hmm. Grandma householder. And so they had, uh, and Sue said, Sharon cheated. She had, <laughs> she, she planned her day and I just had mine naturally. <laughs> oh, and I want I need to tell everybody, uh, this is Grand. If you haven't saw the other one, uh, the story time with Grand, the first the vlog, uh, but her birthday is tomorrow and you're going to be 90, 96, 96 tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, and your mom, 97, you said? She was almost 97 when she died. Okay. And my, my oldest sister that died, uh, she she had a birthday in uh, 90, in January, and she was 95, and she died in May, so I've outlived her now, and so I'm getting close to mom's, <laughs> to what yeah, mom's I, age I, I, I tell people mom has lots of cats, and your mom had lots of cats. It used to be like, well, when was the chicken well, coop back there? But they were outside. The outside cats. It wasn't so. mama, it was Virginia that lived, my oldest sister. Oh. After her husband died, see, she, 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 mom and dad wanted her to stay with them until she got over it. Uh -huh. and, and so in the meantime, while she was staying with them, dad had developed cancer and she never went home. She stayed right there and slept on the foot of dad's bed till he died. Mm -hmm. And so, they're collecting cats. But she had cats, and everybody would drop them, and she, but she fed them and fed them and fed them, and she'd cook all this stuff up, and then she'd buy all this canned food that would be on sale, and and she had twenty something cats, and and it come a real bad storm one night, and they all disappeared, and I guess they got down across the there was a, a kind of a valley or a low place across dad's farm and we assumed that they had crossed that thing and and uh, they all got around or died or something well, happened to them but, but every one of them disappeared i'll say mom's ball drowns they'll be in the house 
Oh, Lord. And she actually, I think, when we went to look for houses, it's basically everything was to do with the cats, like the sunroom. So that kind of probably sold it for the yeah. sunroom because the cats have that. Yeah, see, when when y'all were lived at, and when Sharon lived at Cahokia, the cats drove me mad there. Yeah. And when I'm at her house now, they don't hard, they, you I don't hardly see them, see them hardly, huh? because they don't come around. You me. won't think she has that. But when cats. one does come in, it comes straight to me. Yeah. But at Cahokia, she used to sit with a spray bottle and keep keep the cats off of me. <laughs> Every. Yeah, that's why I never sat down. I wore black like black and I don't uh, I never had cat hair on me because I would stand up and eat and I always I, I, I would always joke with her and say that's why I eat like this now because <laughs> I don't want to sit down and eat. I just eat, wash my plate and, and go. Yeah. But I yeah. started telling you a while ago about Rodney and Brian. When when Bruce and Joyce married oh I wanted a grandkid so bad when they married and they it was four and a half years before they got me a baby. Well, of course, he was my first one. And since I'd had my boys three years apart and my girls three years apart, I thought that was a good way to have them. Not two years like Mama had them, but every three years. So when Rodney was two years old, I told Joyce, I said, Honey, you know, you need to be thinking about another baby because three years is a good space to have kids. And she said, I need another baby like I need another hole in my head. <laughs> well, she got sick. I took her to Dr. Tiget, who was in Cape, her doctor. He took her off the pill. And she got pregnant. And almost the same hour, one, three years later, the same day, she had Brian. Mm -hmm. And she said, when my mother-in-law tells me something, I listen. <laughs> She was lying in her teeth. She, did, she didn't listen to a word I said, but she got caught anyway. And that was I, all. I tell people too, uh, I would always want to get you a flat screen TV. I'm going to show them real quick, but that, that's where you put all your pictures at. And she's still. The floor model, the floor model, see the, the top part, let me see, the top part of there is pictures. So if she gets a flat screen TV, there's no room for those pictures. I, and it still works, right? It still works, and I got it in eighty, uh, in eighty, and I bought it from uh, from uh, Don Day in Portageville, and I told the kids say you got to get rid of that and get a different TV, and I said I wouldn't have a place for my pictures, so if I get another TV, that one's going in the bedroom, and I don't know where I put it, but Coy's up there about fifteen times, I think. Mm -hmm. And then he's all over the room too. <laughs> so. That's that's my grandfather. Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of pictures in here nowadays. Like I lost, I did have some pictures, but I lost all that in the fire pretty much. I have a couple that Ariana mm -hmm. had in her side of the house, but a lot of days now it's like pulled up on the internet where you could, you know, all that mess. But my living room is family and cotton. <laughs> Yeah, there was wondering, um, you know, there's wondering with all the cotton bales and the, the real cotton. And um, well, you know, I Coy, thought there's a lot of cotton around here. Well, Coy, I used to be in cotton fields. Coy loved to raise cotton. Now, the boys didn't like cotton that much. They thought it was a lot of trouble. Yeah. But Coy loved cotton. He was like Walter Edwards. He thought you had to have cotton to farm. And if we didn't have but a, a, a few hundred acres, 600 or so, that I had to be in cotton. So he liked cotton and, and I think the I, last time that I even know from being around there was uh Milo, I guess. Yeah. He did well, that. We, yeah. Well our little farm we had we didn't have cotton on it. Mm -hmm. We didn't ever have cotton on it, but it was uh, too he, small to fool with, I guess. He used to tell me, uh with the BB gun, he said, Don't shoot the, the Martins. Yeah. But I was I would try to shoot birds. I'd try to shoot whatever bird I could get. <laughs> Like I, I wasn't that great of a shot back then. We had trouble with the Martins though, because we had five of those big oak trees, and they were full of blackbirds uh -huh. and uh, and starlings, and they would destroy the Martins' nests. All them hotels, little apartment buildings. They got the Mart Martin houses. People, a lot of people don't know what those are. I do, because you know, because you, you had them in the yard. But yeah, they're good for a lot of mosquitoes. They, though they're good to kill mosquitoes. They live on mosquitoes, and they were. Uh, but you just couldn't raise them for, he tried and tried and tried. 
and they would start their, the martins would have their uh, uh, nest full of eggs or baby birds hatching and these starlings would drag them out of there and kill them. So he, he gave up trying to raise them. Mm. Well, um, well, before I go, I was wanting to, uh, I talked to you earlier about it, but you said you're going to go for your birthday tomorrow. You're going to go eat at the, what's the name of that Chinese place? You remember uh, that? China, it's not China. Inn, I Mongolian Inn. Mongolian Inn, I think it's, yes. I had, I had, that was good food. Not, not in Conglo, Congo. Mongolian. Mongolian, yeah. Something. A cafe, a restaurant, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, buffet. It was really, it's really good. It's, it's right there by a, that Walmart. It has a good choice, I think. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, <laughs> I get, I get gift certificates from grandkids, kids and grandkids. When they don't know what to buy me, they buy me gift certificates to go eat. And so I had $26 left over from last year, and I've got 100 already oh, wow. this year from there, <laughs> from that one place. Then I have, have them from uh, uh, Olive Garden. I have them from Applebee's. I have them from... Uh, um, uh, you got Red Lobster? Huh? You got a red lobster around here? We have. We just have it at Cape. And well, but. Uh, well, I got a PO box. Maybe they can send you a red lobster gift card. <laughs> well, I've, check in uh, descriptions. That's the PO box. I love. I, I love the red. Lo I love that little biscuit red lobster. I could make a meal on that. I just. Biscuit. It's called a. Oh, uh, I can't. I can't think of the dang name. I always call it the wrong name. It's not Chesapeake. It's. Ch uh I can't think of it. I was called Chesapeake Bay. It's Cheddar Bay or Cheddar something. Cheddar Bay biscuits. I say the wrong name all the time. Some I just put a video out the thirteenth of the. They got Lobster Fest going on now until April, like yeah. in April. So um, Tasha and I went. And we did. I called them a Chesapeake Bay, and I said, "Goes no, they're Cheddar Bay or something like that." Somebody commented in the comment section. Uh, I, I like them Chesapeake Bay biscuits too. I do I too. thought that was funny. <laughs> those, those, are, those are good biscuits. Usually, whoever I eat with, they give me their biscuits. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because I really like them. Yeah, they are but good. Anyway. But they have some good. They have some good food. Um, um, that lobster fest. It's about thirty-five a plate or forty a plate for the the lobster. All the stuff that's on there, but. I'm not a real big fan of paying that much for a lobster. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Especially crab legs. It's too much hassle. Yeah. Tasha likes well, crab legs a lot, but it's like too much work. To me, uh, unless that lobster is dipped in that butter, oh, I, yeah. I, and I, that's just too much butter for me. Yeah, it is a lot of butter. I, I'm not, I'm that, not they crazy. asked me why I didn't touch the butter. I said, well, when I don't eat like I do usually, I try not to, yeah. to eat like that. So. Yeah. But, uh, oh, let me um, wrap this up here. It was good seeing you. And, um, uh, well, I'm glad you came by for my birthday. Even if I didn't get a card, I like the looks of that green stuff. Yeah, I want, yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to get her a gift card, but I gave her cash. It's a little more not personal, I guess, but you can use that anywhere. You go to Red Lobster with it. <laughs> so, instead of just going to Walmart, I wasn't going to get you a Walmart gift card, but when I went, the lines are so long, they only had the self-checkout, and I don't think you can do a gift card at the self-checkout. You have to go to, oh. to the customer service or the big, long line. Yeah. So, but, okay. Let me cut this off, guys, and um, I really appreciate it uh, coming over here. I stopped by Mom's and put up two. I told him I put two um, smoke detectors up real quick, like 15 minutes. I talked to her while I did that because okay. I'm always running. <laughs> but... Uh, but they they don't see my mom. They don't. I said I do have family members, and you, and maybe somebody else is the only ones that got on camera. Like I, I promise, I do have family. But <laughs> mom, you will not see my mom. You no, won't see she pictures. Doesn't, she doesn't like that. Nothing. No, so no. I don't even bring the camera inside. I just leave it in the car. So because I already know. She said you know better than to bring the camera in with her. All anyway. Right. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit when I hit the road. That's what I, how I advertise for you. Hey, uh, look, even my grandmother um, advertises for me. Look on the door. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, just left. She stays in the uh, assisted uh, living section over here in New Madrid. Um, actually, my other grandmother, they used to have the house like right over on the other side of that house there, a real big two-story house. Um, but both of uh, my papa and mama had died 
um, that house actually burned. Um, and a farmer owns that house, so they just kept it burnt and put a shed up. So it sucks to go by and see that house as well. But um, I'm glad I got to see Gran. Um, her birthday's tomorrow, 96 years old. And uh, I parked down here because I have the trailer on the back of the truck. So I parked on the, um, the what do they call it, welcome center, or where they eat at and everything and play uh, dominoes. So maybe Tasha get to meet my grandmother when we come back this way. Uh, to get pick up my car in about a week or so all right well, let me get in the truck at least it stopped raining and um, get to memphis before rush hour i think i'll get there around 3 p.m i'll stop for gas maybe and then um, about 3 p.m i'll make it there so i do not like rush hour traffic when i used to do construction i told them i'm getting off at two that's why i got there at five or six in the morning i'm getting off at 2 p.m or 6 p.m. So if they want me to work after two, you're paying me the six because I do not like to sit in traffic. Okay, here we go. Okay, as promised, guess what I got? Two of them. So I get to try one now. So I'm gonna give you a food review of Turtles Brownies. And then she will give you her review. Looks like they have pecans on top and caramel and chocolate. I guess that's the brown. Police brown. Ahead. Uh, maybe I'll save one for the police officer if he pulls me over. But let me try it now. These are actually pretty good. I think. Tasha will like this. I think Tasha will like this. She likes brownies. She says she don't like fudge, but she likes brownies. Kind of, kind of weird to me. But she, I would say love. I don't use the word love for everything. Like I love turtles, but she really likes them. They're good. I'm good. Don't mind if I do. Have the other one. Other one in the pack. I'm saving that one for her. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Police reported ahead. I'm stopping off at the next gas station to get like four or five dozen of these. Not dozen, four or five of them, okay? I'm gonna get some more because that pack might not last. Find some business. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, um, I stopped off again because I got a box of them. I got like seven or eight more. So I am good to go. I think every time she gets frustrated with me, I'm gonna give her one. I ain't gonna tell her I got this many. I'm just gonna give her one at a time. So I'm good for seven or eight In zero point mess one up. mile. Turn left. There it is. <clears throat> well, this lady here is messing up. Talking to me while I'm driving. All my all my um coordination skills are off. She gets me flustered. She needs to give me Turn a freaking left. brownie. Turtle brownie. Alright, let me go before she starts talking again. In zero Shut up, lady! Go pro turn off! Go pro stop recording! Okay, we got everything moved. Um, I didn't even think about getting Tasha um, in here, but she helped me move the stuff. I just had to get everything out of here. I still got all that burnt up pools and stuff that... Uh, I'm going to put in the garage here so it don't stink up the whole storage unit. But we got a bigger storage unit. It goes all the way to the back. They knocked the middle wall out. And they say we can have it for the same price. So when, when, I think it's like 10 by, 10 by 60 or 10 by 70 or something like that. Instead of 10 by 30. So I think it was a 10, 10 by 60. So, okay. Let me um, get this computer monitor and stuff and start to get to editing wash my hands and get to go see you guys later thanks for tuning in to this vlog 
um, and I will see you um, tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but video tomorrow. So please share the videos. Uh, please comment um, if you like the videos. If anything about it, uh, please comment. Um, I like to comment back, so I like to interact with you guys. Uh, so talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now. So just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft. The logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day, unless you made other plans.